This message is just our own opinion before we discuss major nation politics, not to do with the United States. This is just our own reflections opinion, uh, more towards my thoughts about uh, basically David Robinson, uh, father of Danny Robinson, who's, you know, vigilantly searching for his son, doing everything, you know, flyer campaigns, hitting it up, basically firing on all cylinders, basically, you know, if, if the person if the person, you know, different scenarios, you have to look at different scenarios and hit them at all times, right? So, so he's firing out all cylinders. You know, what if Daniel was the victim of foul play homicide? What if it was a victim of crime? What if Daniel was alive somewhere? What if he's somewhere in some city? So the flyer campaign. So I saw an update that David Robinson wants to, you know, make a difference in, in, uh, in leadership, in, in political leadership. This is my opinion. So basically, uh, this is what we have done without prejudice to any persons. If we ever engage in a further search, we have a we have a tailored rule-based system. It's all it's it's like a firewall rule. It's, five, it's basically a filtering system. Um, we only focus on straightforward, direct missing hikers, where there's no question. For whatever reasons, could the person be alive somewhere? Could, could some person have been suffering from some type of, uh, you know, basically some type of, you know, incident in terms of psychology? We don't want to, we refuse to deal with any of that. Um, basically, we believe in, there's, in Colorado State, there is straightforward, um, we need to see if there's any updates, but basically straightforward, someone missing in a wilderness area, no questions of what state of mind, no questions of whether they could be, hey, 80% uh, alive, 20% fallen, 20% alive, 80% fallen. If there's 1% alive theory, we just don't touch it. That's, that's the new filtering rule. So we're, we want to give our political opinion. We believe the United States law on missing persons is, is about correct. We don't think it needs to be changed. Um, here's the thing, right? We were going to talk about something, then we sort of decided to pull back on that because uh, it, we're talking about uh, citizens' rights. So U.S. law treats, uh, I believe, to the best of my knowledge, miss, if someone is an underage minor, the law naturally treats that differently because they could be in danger. I think there are, there may or may not be exceptions for adults who might be, you know, in some state of danger. But basically, I know, I know for certain that minors are treated differently. So if some, you know, teenager goes missing, the law is on top of it. But basically, once a person is of age, they are an, an adult. So the police does a separation. Could the could that be a case of foul play, crime? If it is a crime, they hit the ground running. If if it is theoretically possible an adult is, if they believe the adult is not a victim of crime, that it's prob that it could be a voluntary disappearance, the law is hamstrung because this is a human right. Okay, so we were gonna, we were gonna follow up on, on Aiden, Aiden Klune. Um, we had this idea, um, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't seen any updates because th there's uh, the family has organized search. We have no relationship with Aiden or the family, mind you, okay? So we just closure out there. But we kind of, you know, we kind of spy on the sidelines to see if, if he's been found because we believe if, if he was found, there, there would be an update. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I have not seen anything to the effect of him being found. So to the best of my knowledge, he has not been found. Um, so one of my ideas, you know, uh, basically, if if Aiden was an aspiring musician or an artist, my thought is, uh, could he be, could he have joined a community of artists in California somewhere? Who knows, maybe even Slab City, but I just realized something. Um, now, we have no relationship with any search organizers, but and we're not going to recommend to anyone if, to the family, uh, hey, f this is not this is what we're not going to say. Um, have you, you know, looked into areas of art communities and stuff? Uh, basically, the uh, we just realized the problem is if if a, if an adult 
is alive and they voluntarily, if they voluntarily disappeared. It's perfectly legitimate if they want to have nothing to do with their own family. We're not talking, we're not saying this is Aiden or this is Daniel. We're just giving uh, in general. Um, if a adult voluntarily goes missing, you cannot, for example, uh, invade their privacy. Um, you cannot try to go to some place to try to harass them. Um, so basically, I think the law is sufficient. Uh, underage minor, minor child, the law hits the ground running. Search, search, search. The law enforcement is on top of that. Adult is treated differently. If they're a vic if they're a potential victim of crime, the police department is on top of that. Buckeye PD gets on top of that. LVMPD, local jurisdictions, they get on top of that. The FBI can get, even get on top of that. But a missing adult, if if it's non-criminal, um, I think it is correct that if they want to, theoretically, if they want to go voluntarily missing, if they want to ghost their family and say no, no more relations, no more contact, I think that's legitimate. Okay, so in my opinion, I think the law is exactly where it should be. Uh, if we ever search, we have to filter down. If there's any possibility, only, only those recovery cases that are clear cut. No talk about psych psychological state. No possibility of being voluntarily missing. That is the new rule. Clear cut, missing hikers. Um, no, excuse my French. No goddamn Area 51. No goddamn M caves, Area 51 alien theories. If there's anything to do with Area 51, uh, someone saw a mysterious vibrating cave. That is an that to me that's the immediate red flag. That that basically that that tells me there's something there's something wrong with that case. No aliens, no Area 51, no mysterious caves. There are tragic cases where hikers, including mature hikers, they go missing. They they literally are there somewhere. Their remains are there somewhere. No no effing aliens. No frazzing goddamn aliens. Period. That's all.